past week, our team read and reviewed more than 150 essays. That's crazy, especially considering the fact that we did this in September and our busiest months are typically in October and December. Honestly, guys, I really mean it from the bottom of my heart when I say we are so blessed and so thankful that you guys have chosen us to review your work. We hope that those of you guys who have been using our portal, www.elevated.school slash edit my essay have been finding it helpful. Now, with that being said, I remember very acutely what it was like to be FGLI at this prestigious boarding school at Yale. I remember what it was like to not just personally struggle financially, but also watch my family struggle financially. In fact, before we get into today's essay review, let me just tell you guys a quick story. During my sophomore year at Yale, I got a phone call from my mom and she was sobbing. She just told me that she spent the past few hours reading messages from these Chinese Ivy League WeChat groups. I listened to her choke back tears and tell me how incredibly guilty she felt that other Chinese parents could pay full tuition and give their kids spending money for travel, food, clothes, but she couldn't offer me any of that. I, of course, was trying to hold back my own tears as I talked to her, reassured her that really this wasn't a big deal. In fact, it's precisely because of our family's financial situation that I learned how to hustle and got so involved in entrepreneurship and even started Elevate Ed in the first place. So when you guys watch our videos, like our content, use our services, it's not like you're supporting some nameless, faceless mega corporation. You're helping us grow and not only supporting more underprivileged students who need access to these resources, but also supporting our staff, many of whom are former FGLI kids like myself. <laughs> the truth is, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. And though it may look like I'm supporting you, the reality is you guys are supporting us. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. <sighs> okay, well, let's move on to some of the free Common App reviews from our Elevate Ed subscribers. I have two really phenomenal essays that I'm excited to break down so that we can learn from them today. I'll also be reiterating some really important concepts, namely vSpice. This first essay is about a topic we hear often about, the family business. And the second piece is a spunky essay about periods and wrestling. Let's dive right in. My dad made me work and his dad too. That's just the way things are in a family. Arguing that I had a responsibility to the company, he firmly reminded me that it was time to put down the PlayStation and pick up a job. He scrounged through his bright red Milwaukee toolboxes, eventually coming up with a cracked screwdriver and his old pair of Kleins, which had a navy stripe that matched my new hat. For the next four years, these brutal pieces of metal would take me to places that formed who I am today. And though I rarely use them now, the marks they left on my hands never cease to call my experiences to mind. Really strong opening line. Now, as you guys know, I sometimes have recommended that students don't use quotes from famous figures, but a quote from a family member is actually a piece of dialogue and we can definitely use those. Another thing that's working really well in this essay are the specifics, you know, put down the PlayStation, bright red Milwaukee toolbox, a cracked screwdriver, old pair of Kleins, navy stripe, those details definitely help show instead of tell. Now this particular sentence, I can tell it's kind of setting up the story, but maybe we actually don't need it here. We could move this to the conclusion and just instantly start showcasing this student in action. Another thing that stood out to me, which communicated this kind of authentic, humble tone was the simple word choice, you know, using verbs like put down the PlayStation, pick up a job, that kind of phrasing is really nice. But then we also have some stronger verbs like scrounge. I stepped out of the shop every day only to be met with the blistering heat of a cloudless sky in a Texas summer, which faded my t-shirt from navy to a stormy gray and shrunk the cotton to fit my lanky frame. Again, more showing, really powerful details. We can easily imagine what's going on. The one thing that I would nitpick is just knowing a little bit more about like date and time. So we know the setting, we know the place, the location, but is this sophomore year? Is this junior year? Is this when you were in middle school? Is this last summer? Knowing that time and place is really important. Ideally, this would be a story from the past couple of years when this student was a high schooler. We don't really want to hear stories from elementary or middle school. Subject to the will of my superiors, I did the grunt work of carrying boxes and getting into the crawl spaces only I could fit to feed 12 and 2 wire. I came home dirty and often begged my mom to let me stay home from work the next day. Envious of my friends, I secretly hoped for a way out. All right, I love this. It reminds me actually of my own essay, when we admit weakness. Admitting weakness and these thoughts of wanting to quit actually showcases vulnerability. At first glance, you might think that it's not such a good idea to showcase kind of like this weakness or this wanting to quit, but actually it helps us as readers empathize with the applicant. Good stuff. Despite my distaste, 
space. It's a really kind of fun phrase to read out loud, effective transition too. I kept going to work, gaining a new appreciation for the job every day. With every outlet I wired, light that I hung, and breaker I replaced, a tangible result arose. One summer, we had a job from an elderly man whose terminal cancer left him little to live, maybe little time to live. We powered a pump to his pool, moved furniture around his patio, and hopefully gave a light to his life in his final days. I don't know where he is now, but knowing that I personally contributed to a smile on this man's face at the end of his life changed how I viewed my dad's job. What I thought of as menial work was necessary to society as a whole and had implications beyond a teenager's apprenticeship. Now there is a lot of telling. Maybe we can remove this. Perhaps we can consider combining these first two sentences as well, gaining a new appreciation for the job. Maybe I like that phrase, so I would move it here. Again, the specificity is really working to this student's advantage. In part four, we looked at list of threes and these lists are really, really powerful. Like it's very simple, but we can easily imagine the student engaging in some of the handiwork and moving stuff around. In this case, it's the specifics of the nouns, just having saying like outlet, breaker, pump, furniture. Guys, I love this next paragraph, so pay attention to what's going on here. With my newfound appreciation, I looked towards scaling the business in the office. I looked around and noticed many traditions from when my grandpa ran the business. I think there's some grammar going on here. When I saw customer information on index cards, a landline phone, and bills past due, I knew that I was in for it. So really nice kind of casual phrasing here, which is also very effective. And again, these list of threes are just super powerful, super simple. Apply it in your own essays for sure. Minor nitpicking thing, but I don't like the repetition because we said appreciation and we said appreciation in the previous one. We have I looked here and then we have I looked. So this stuff becomes really obvious when you guys read your stories out loud, but you should be able to check for it and solve it on your own pretty easily. Quickly, I tied customers to jobs and jobs to bills using House Call Pro, a contractor's business management software. And although I messed up a few bills, things began to run smoothly. Where my dad taught me to wire appliances through cuts and shocks, I taught him to use the new software through patience and troubleshooting. This is a spectacular sentence because it showcases some of the aspects of vSpice. In the beginning, we had vulnerability. Now we have selflessness and initiative. Here we can really start to see this student start to take a way more active approach in the business, teaching his dad new things. Very simple sentence, very powerful message. At first glance, I see that we have two paragraphs of reflection. My first instinct is to wonder, do we really need both paragraphs? Although our business might have changed, our values certainly haven't. This summer, I engaged in customer service and more importantly, communications between companies to obtain our business biggest job yet. A remodel worth a quarter of a million dollars at the Galleria Mall. All of these opportunities have driven me to a field I hope to modernize as well. As I sifted through checks and bills, I developed a passion for the financial side of the business, balancing our company carefully between payments to keep it running efficiently. I thought that this was a reflective paragraph, but actually it showcases a little bit more of demonstrated impact. So I would definitely keep it. There's some details here we for sure, for sure need. Another thing to note guys is pretty much in any kind of communication, we like to end with the punch. So the strongest part of this paragraph is obviously the remodel with a quarter million dollars. I mean, that is fantastic. So I really wish this student had actually ended with this. Looking back on the failures I'd been through to finally reach success within the company made me realize why my dad brought me to work with him in the first place. This is a little bit of a clunky sentence. You don't really talk about the failures, right? Like I would expect maybe here you would talk about failures and then you'd say, oh, looking back on the failures. You don't need to say within the company. We know it's within the company. This sentence can be shorter. We can add some punctuation. We can add some commas. When I was younger, I thought it was a way of getting revenge for his dad making him work. Now I understand that he only wanted to impart on me the lessons he learned throughout. When I go to college, I plan to use the discipline and value of hard work, along with my passion for serving others to create a community worth working for. This ended up falling into a very, very common cliche trap. There's actually way better themes in this essay. Transformation, both kind of like digital and financial transformation. You could even parallel the business's transformation with the student's own personal transformation. So if you guys are struggling to come up with better themes, first off, pick really unique themes, right? Don't pick something like hard work. Instead, if you pick a more interesting theme like truth. Step number two, add an adjective in front of that theme. So transformation, we have digital transformation, financial transformation, personal transformation. The student could even talk about their physical transformation and how they bulked up while they were doing all this menial labor. So think about that. There's other better themes too that the student has already mentioned, like humility and gratitude or appreciation. In fact, if you figured out a way to remove discipline, hard work, service, and replace it with these three themes, that would actually be way better. Overall though, really effective essay. There are six major criteria that you guys need to 
hit in your college application. You don't need to hit every single one of these points in your Common App essay. In fact, I just focused on one or two, vulnerability and selflessness. But the most important thing to note is that if you're gonna focus on, let's say, vulnerability, selflessness, perseverance in your Common App essay, then make sure that other aspects of your application, like your supplementals or your activities list, or even talking to your recommenders, make sure that they highlight initiative, curiosity, expression. Now, in the family business essay that we just read, we definitely got vulnerability. I'd rate it a three. Um, to really get to a four, we just need to focus more on the conclusion. Now, do we see expression? Expression is actually about creative problem solving. So expression, ingenuity, that's what we mean. So there are some novel solutions. For instance, how this student is using the new software, the digital transformation. Uh, we don't really have much curiosity. We don't really have much perseverance, but we do have selflessness and initiative. Maybe we could include a bit more selflessness. There's definitely generosity, selflessness in that scene where the student is helping this elderly man. Overall, a tremendous essay, and I'm so thankful that the subscriber sent us his essay to review. I really hope the rest of you guys found it useful. We're gonna pause here for a quick break, and then we're gonna take a look at this next essay, which is also a fantastic, marvelous read. So don't go anywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little break. It's been hard to record breakdance footage these past couple of weeks just because I hurt my right foot. With some luck and patience, I should be back to full health soon and able to share more breakdance footage. And by the way, guys, before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe. Not only does it go a long way for us, but also if you are not subscribed, then you won't be able to see the next time we announce free essay reviews. And of course, if you guys are dying to have your essay reviewed, no problem. Just visit our website, www.elevated.school slash edit my essay. There will be line by line edits. There will be a paragraph of reflection and commentary at the end. It'll be reviewed not just by one, but two of our Elevate Ed consultants. Usually I read and approve all of them. So you'll probably get a chance to hear from me too. Finally, there is another opportunity to have your essays reviewed by our team for free. Just keep an eye out for this comment that I'll leave on this video and all you have to do is reply with a compliment with something you like at the end of this month october 2023 we're going to be picking three random people who commented and we'll be editing your essays for free common app number 10. i walked for six hours with a dress and paper stuffed backpack through 13 miles of streets cursing the lack of sidewalks this was my only option after 5 p.m there were no bus routes my dad worked out of the state and my mom worked late hours. I needed to improvise a way home before being stranded at school. Wow, six hours in a dress, 13 miles, that's quite a hike. Now, if you guys have been following along on this channel, you'll know that something I repeat over and over again is the problem solution ratio. Normally, we wanna keep the problem as short as possible because we're more interested in hearing about your solution, things that you make happen, your growth, but, there is an exception to that rule. And that exception is if your problem is really serious, unique, special, interesting. And this would be one of those cases. Sometimes I got rides home from near strangers. I endured car rides of awkward silence as we scrambled to find topics in common. But soon I was wheeze laughing with someone I never thought I'd have a conversation with as we complained about the terrible ending of Attack on Titan together. At the end, I always remembered to give them chocolate for their help. It was my favorite way to get home since I arrived before my mom and could cook a warm meal for us to share. Wow, this is one of the best paragraphs that I have ever read on this channel from a student. Not only does it show vulnerability, selflessness, proactivity and initiative, it also showcases creative problem solving, E, expression, all at the same time. The only thing that I would say is that I disagree with the ending for Attack on Titan. I actually really enjoyed it. Give this girl a ticket to Harvard. Most days, I waited at the local McDonald's until my mom wrapped up her shift working as a cashier at 9 p.m. Under the yellowing lights, I finished my homework while resisting the siren calls of the McDonald's dessert menu. At home, my mom would mumble disapprovingly about my reason for staying late. To my mom, it was an unconventional reason for staying, wrestling. From 2.30 to 6 p.m., I navigated a new landscape of confusing takedown methods, sweat-stained wrestling mats, and grueling conditioning. Talking about how grueling the conditioning is, I think that would definitely add a bit more flavor to the essay. But overall, it's 
looking very good, like over an eight out of 10 on our scale. My reason for joining? My period. Suffering from menorrhagia, every hour at school drained my physical and emotional health, so I avoided participation, especially after school. I was stuck in bathrooms, sobbing and praying for the blood to stop after using over four heavy pads in less than an hour. Whenever I asked doctors, they shrugged it off as a minor inconvenience, leading to an emergency blood transfusion from untreated acute anemia. Here, this student has already resolved kind of the first problem by talking about why they're staying late, why it means something to them, and now they're introducing a completely different problem. And I'm kind of excited to see what solution she proposes. With exhausting routines and lack of friends on the wrestling team, I felt like quitting numerous times. But remembering sitting on a hospital bed held hostage by my period helped me realize wrestling gave me control over my body and mental toughness to keep fighting. Most importantly, it gave me the confidence to fail over and over again knowing that I'm improving every time. Hmm, I'm wondering if we can show this instead of telling it. But let me read the next paragraph before I provide some more thoughts and feedback. For my dedication, I was the second best female wrestler on the team out of two girls. I was often thrown to the mat while trying to avoid the mysterious wet spots by men far stronger and different than me. There was Andrew, Green Stink, infamous for refusing to wear deodorant, everyone can tell, Calvin, Fish, slippery with sweat, and the main origin of the ominous wet spots on the mat, and Sam, Screamer, always shrieking. <laughs> Every pin was a chance to learn new takedowns from experts, and I bounce back stronger each time. This sentence does feel like it's kind of uh, missing a transition, but overall the humor is really effective. Dubbed banana from the bruises that coated my arms. I wore them like badges of honor exclaiming that I got it from wrestling Mostly being met with you wrestle another extraordinary paragraph that could only have been written by this student Really really sensational stuff fantastic detail so memorable um, I would probably if I had to nitpick I'd move all of the nicknames together So green stink fish screamer the pin part here perhaps we can move that maybe to the previous paragraph I would maybe switch the order of these two paragraphs as well adapting to new environments I learned much more than just wrestling discipline for studying stamina and posture Ironically enough, translated to longer phrases and more graceful flute playing, confidence giving speeches with the same vigor as a powerful takedown, and an amiability to form friendships in unlikely places. Though I didn't have a natural knack for wrestling, I gained a love of learning anything I'm bad at, from attempting crocheting to improving my flexibility. Got the splits after stretching for three months daily. Being the worst in the room meant I could only get better. It was a privilege to embrace the discomfort. This is a paragraph of what we call the application to the solution. It is so crucial and important to talk about how you've taken the lessons, the principles from this core experience and apply it to other dimensions of your life. At school, I encourage others to do the same. Students whispering to me that public speaking isn't for them later make heads turn as they boldly proclaim solutions in a conference after weeks of stuttering at lunch practice. While the journey home is challenging, it's the reasons for persevering that make it rewarding. Even through the laughter and awkward silences, scattered bruises, it fails on the map. All right, if I had to criticize one thing, it would probably be this ending. It's just gonna be way easier to just end with this sentence over here, a privilege to embrace the discomfort. I think that's a great final line, and I would probably just cut this out move it somewhere else. Let's return to the spice really quick. There is a lot of expression and creative problem solving here. I love that, especially because it's just an aspect that many students don't really do very well. Out of the six, it's probably the hardest one to showcase. We don't have much curiosity, nor do we have a lot of selflessness. You can see that this student started to talk a little bit about like, you know, I'm teaching others in that second to last sentence. But really, I would just, again, talk about selflessness, community impact in another essay. And if I were to rate the essays today, the second one that we just read about periods and wrestling, that would be a very solid nine. That was the best essay that we've read on this channel so far. The other essay with the family business one was definitely above a seven. There was really no major issues. I would probably rate it closer to an eight. In closing, I hope you enjoyed those two essays because I certainly did. They were the strongest essays that we read out of the past 10. And I really think that we could all learn something from them. I certainly learned something from them. And I really hope you guys did too. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means the world to us. You know, we've already graduated. We already went to college. What we're doing now is just trying to help you get to that stage. I've worked so hard on this channel and your guys' support makes it all worth it. Let me know what other ideas or videos you guys want me to make. Take it easy, stay out of trouble, and I'll catch you at the next one. Pa -pa 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 Peace.